Watch this video before buying your PC to know whether AMD Ryzen's are better or Intel CPUs. Hi there, welcome to Crypto Studio. This time I'm gonna talk about what is the best processor for you while you wanna uh, work with your computer based on your need, based on the action you're doing with your computer. Uh, so if we just normally come to the Google and we search is Ryzen better or Intel CPU, uh, you can see the Ryzen 5000 series were the highest performing chips on the market and beat Intel in every metric and matters. So that's great, let's go buy a 5000 series of Ryzen and boom, everything is okay. So no, this is not true. If uh, you want to know, this is all my personal experience because I'm using both Ryzen and Intel in my office. And uh, what I'm going to tell you is this, that Google says Ryzen 5000 series were the highest performing chips on the market. and beat Intel in every case. It may be true, but while you just come to gaming and some people want to edit videos based on Premiere software or other kinds of software, it a bit matters, it a bit differs actually. So normally, if I wanna show you a very uh, fast diagram that I found in one of the sites, but I forgot what the name was, I tried to put the link into the description. Uh, you can see here, while it comes to the video editing, so it said Intel Core i9 is the non-compromised performance, but the best value is with Core i5 Intel. And if you do not have the budget for buying such processor, you can buy Intel Core i5. But if you look at other options like view po uh, viewport performance, CPU rendering, and general productivity, and when you come to the budget part, which is really important for all the PC users who uh, think about money actually, you see Intel Core i5 and Intel Core i3, actually Intel has more options. Just one of them is Ryzen 5 uh, 3600, which is on VU port performance. And I'm gonna tell you what that means and why this one is Ryzen, but the other options are Intel. First, I'm gonna tell you uh, some features about Ryzen, especially Ryzen 9 5950X. This is exactly something that I'm using in my computer, but actually I use it for games. I do not use that for editing such videos uh, because this Ryzen actually doesn't have the iGPU. What is iGPU? This is easy. If you come back to the Google again and you write something like, what is iGPU, then it tells you exactly. Integrated graphic processing units. Yes, that's true because all these Ryzen processors do not have the iGPU inside, although Intel processors have. So this is a very easy uh, outcome actually. So if I want to start gaming, which one is better? If I want to start editing videos, which one is better? Sometimes some people say that it is good to use a Ryzen for editing videos and gaming both, but this is not my opinion. As far as I have told you that I'm using both in my office, I'm using this for gaming and I'm using uh, Intel i9 and you're seeing that on the screen. Uh, this is the i9 that I use it for editing video and uh, this one is actually the Ryzen uh, 9 5950X that I use it for gaming. Uh, because of the iGPU that is available into Intel CPUs, I use i9 for uh, doing my uh, Premiere actions, uh, After Effects actions. And I use my uh, Ryzen for gaming. Why do I use this for gaming? Because actually it is uh, used for high performance uh, screens with higher resolution. It can give you even 6K, 8K, and this has uh, a lot of muscles actually. This um, processor has a lot of muscles, so I can use that for gaming. It gives me a better quality, it gives me uh, more uh, actually energy for running my game, and I can enjoy better because of the high resolution, because of the uh, GPU muscle that this Ryzen has. Mm, but uh, what you can see, if I want to start editing with this because of lack of iGPU inside these processors, I have to buy a very expensive GPU like 3070 Ti or 3080 and it is not a save of money because I need to have one of those GPU beside this processor in order to uh, do my um, pre premiere editings for example. But with Intel, uh, I do not need to buy uh, actually that expensive GPU because it it has the iGPU itself the Intel processor so what I need is just a normal 3060 or lower GPU could be okay and it, it itself is a save of money for um, editing videos 
But if you come to that, as I've told you, you have to spend money for buying a GPU to meet that iGPU that I have already mentioned. So if I come to another comparison, Ryzen systems have more stability and that is not something that my i9 system is also stable but yes when you come in some manner especially gaming i9 system intel i9 system system that i'm using doesn't have uh, that stability while i play game with that but while i play game with ryzen it has the stability better than that a bit but yes i've experienced it is better and something that uh, is very important into these processors is the power consumption so while I come to Ryzen, this power consumption is not a lot when it is overloaded. But unfortunately, while I come to the Intel, especially the 12th gen uh, Intel, especially i9, i7, while they are overloaded, they consume lots of power and it for sure gets hot and it needs a better cooler uh, for itself. Although this Ryzen uh, 9 5950X works so hot for me and i had to just use one of these you can see actually it's yes, here here i don't know where to point my finger yes i'm using this water cooler msi water cooler for uh ryzen 9 5950x uh, but normally intel gets more temperature while it is overloaded because of that power consumption uh, if i was just want to give you a conclusion uh, i use i Personally, this is my own opinion, but if you have any other opinion uh, that you have experienced or you've searched more than me, write your idea in the comment below to know what is your opinion about which one is better, CPU of uh, Intel or the CPU of the Ryzen. So in my opinion, this is what I have experienced. Ryzen 9 5950 is really good for gaming because of the uh, muscles of GPU that it has, like running. 6k 8k very high resolution but for doing your videos like editing it could be a good idea to buy i7 intel or i9 intel because actually intel processor all have killer decoding and encoding so they can do this editing process really easy and faster and better and although uh, ryzen's do not have such igpu feature intel cpus have iGPU feature and it could be uh, very mm, useful for those who are working with editing softwares like Premiere. So uh, technically for the last sentences I use this for my um, gaming system because of the re resolution and because of the um, for example a high quality that I can get like 6k 8k based on my monitor for playing games that I can enjoy better and I use this is an i7 but I, I'm using an i9 actually I've showed you this this is something else don't worry about it um, I use Intel CPUs for editing my videos in Premiere because it renders better because of the iGPU that I've already told you and that's because of the killing decoding and encoding that this CPU has so I hope you found all these things informative if you have any other idea about which one is better maybe you have experienced something else just tell me and write that in comment below so I can make another video based on your uh, research. But this is exactly what I do because I am having both systems in my office and I do game, I do editing videos. I did editing videos with this Ryzen and I did games with Intel CPUs, but at the end I found more stability with games with Ryzen, but not in editing videos. And I found editing videos more stable with this, but not playing games. I hope you have a very good day. See you later. Bye.